the Reds are looking for our seventh consecutive win across all competitions and we haven't even conceded a goal in the four games since the resumption of the campaign following the World Cup. Hello Red Devil fan, welcome to our Minute News, subscribe to our channel and get up to everything about Man United, hit the notification bell so you don't miss the latest news we'll bring you in first hand. Tuesday's 3-0 victory over Bournemouth followed clean sheet successes against Burnley 2-0. Nottingham Forest 3-0 and Wolves 1-0 and Ten Hag will be looking for the recent momentum to continue as he experiences the world's oldest cup competition for the first time as a manager. United's quest for a first success in this competition since 2016 begins with a boost in terms of team news, as Anthony Marshall has been declared fit to face the Toffees. The Frenchman was withdrawn after 69 minutes of Tuesday's game with Bournemouth, but the issue is not serious enough to keep him out of Friday's game as he continues to build fitness following a stop-start 2022. Our number 9 shone in the early stages of October's 2-1 win at Goodison Park, setting up Anthony's opening goal before having to be withdrawn with a back complaint, and Marshall has a good record when playing the Merseysiders, scoring seven times against them. Enjoy and leave your like the video and continue inside everything that happens on Red Devils. Anthony himself was out injured on Tuesday night, according to Ten Hag, but he was pictured training at Carrington the following day and could be in contention to play. Midfielder Donny van der Beek is sidelined and the extent of the nasty-looking issue he suffered during the first half of Tuesday's game remains to be seen. Diogo Dallo and Lisandro Martinez gained their first minutes on the pitch after the World Cup against Bournemouth and may find themselves in Ten Hag's thoughts for a starting berth, while Scott McTominay returned to the squad albeit as an unused substitute having missed a couple of outings through illness. Aaron WN Basaka has been impressing at right-back, in the absence of Dello, who suffered an injury during Portugal's quarter-final defeat to Morocco, while Martinez's role as the left-sided centre-back has been occupied by Victor Lindelof and Luke Shaw in recent games. Shaw returned to his more familiar role this week, scoring a brilliant goal to make it 2-0 in the meeting with the Cherries, but Tyrell Malaysia is available on that side and Eric has plenty of options across the pitch should he wish to rotate, ahead of Tuesday's Carabao Cup quarter-final against Charlton Athletic. We have so many games to cover, Eric added. Sometimes we will rotate but also have a look at the opponents we will face. Tactical-wise, we can pick teams but definitely we also look to the physical load and the mental load for the players in the squad and the games we have to face. Now, what do you expect from today's match against Everton? Do you think the team will do well? Leave your comment on the subject as it is very important for our team. Stay tuned, at any time I will bring more news about Red Devils. See you later.